Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 236 of Factorio with the Z-Block mod, where we are working on our iron plate outpost finally. We now have both fuel, well, wood and charcoal, and mineral catalysts, that is the correct name for those, right? The brown ones? Yes, okay, good. And we have basically put down all of the train stations we need for uh, the iron plate. We should probably have let some artillery shoot at these wounds for all of this time. Don't hit my stuff, please. Now we need some stuff here to finish this, stag inserters, roboport, and why do we need storage here? And then they're gonna grab all of my stuff and then I'm gonna grab it back, sure. So we need a bunch of space. <clears throat> and we need to start by designing the smelting, I guess, because that's going to be closest to the station and we don't know how much space we need for that. Yeah, let's start with that. But we should move our turrets up here before we start doing that so they can clear the next bit of space hopefully that's not in range of anything okay i guess we should do this in here so we have all of this, which is our uh, raw ore production, which will eventually put out 40, no, 60 ore per second. And that will, of course, go into some processing and smelting. So 15 of these, should we do a design with higher tier machines and beacons? Nah, I don't think so. We will just oops, use this. I have so much stuff in here. I really should get rid of some of it. I think if we just do this, it removes everything. Yes, so let's start over. Red belt. Maybe this is not any faster, I guess, but who knows. We got rid of some blueprints at least. Do we need to crush? We do, right? Yes. Both that and this. <clears throat> and I guess we can reuse a setup we've actually used for that before. somewhere didn't we do this well we have this which we can scale up this is basically the same thing with the exception of this didn't we do something more somewhere though maybe no not here at least Down here, yes. Okay, so these were for steel, of course. So this produces a lot of processed ore, but not enough still. And we probably need more input and output for the full 60 per second, right? 
Yeah, full red build or full blue build. Okay, we will design this from the ground up then. I guess we would like it to not be any wider than this, but I'm not sure that is possible with what I want to do. But we'll see. If we just start with these, we need a 16. Something like this here. Yeah. And we need a bunch of stuff in. 60 of this, or oh, 30 of each, 15 of these as well. I guess this is one of the ores, because that's a full build, and then this can be the other ore. Wait, we only need 15 on each side, of course, so we don't need that much. Also, we need we need it into a crusher first, not into these directly. I think we did start using these, but we don't need to since we have. We can easily do do two of these to one of, oh, yeah, two to two, so one to one, but something like this. On this. <laughs> <coughs> Um, so this is where the ore goes in. This is where the catalyst goes in then, I guess. And we need to get stone, crushed stone out. And it's just one build as well. So crushed stone goes here. This is a combined build. No, it's not. We need more than one combined build. We need the full build for these. Unless we do two setups of this somehow, we could do that. Then it becomes even wider though. We do still need the stone as well though. This doesn't look great, but... We are just doing some tests. Oh. Trying to design something, I guess. Then I guess we could move that all the way up there. This is still going to be a lot wider though. Well, three tiles wider, I guess. So with that in mind, can we do something that actually can handle the input or output from two of these? Because when we start needing more output, we would end up just duplicating these. And if we make a setup like this that only can handle the output of one, then these become wider and wider. Which is not very great. But if we could hand up, produce, design something that could handle the output of two within the space of two, which would be easier than one in the space of one, I guess since we can just go longer, then it should be better. I think I want to try and do that. So this is still the basics, I guess. But I guess we are going to be twice as long, because I don't think we can really squeeze in anything to the sides anyway, but we need more belts in the middle or something then. Which should be okay. Sort of want to do this. Just because then we can have the stone output in the middle here. Then we do need both of these to be mixed. Else, wait, we need more space. Still, still need more space. If we have to handle 60 per second, then we need four red belts in. 
So a Sephiroth build, a Dirolite build, a Dirolite build, a Sephiroth build. And we would need two red builds of crushed stone then. Something like that. And we still need two of these for each. Well, two of... Yeah, we need two inputs to these. We need to crush two different things. We can't do that one machine. Something like that. And this all fits within the confines of two of these. More than... Well, pretty easily even. Which is great. We would need 30 of these instead of 15. That's still fine in those two builds. So what we're actually designing here should be doubled to 180. <coughs> Or two full setups. I think we are still going to use the first setup where we just produce Chivolite on top and Sephirite on the bottom or something. But we'll see when we get there. I guess it's not that bad to set up two anyway. <coughs> lots of crushers, lots of these. We do double the amount of these just because we can't really reach across here. Unless... Maybe we can. This would actually save quite a bit of space. So if we still had Dirolite, Sephirite, Dirolite, Sephirite. And we should probably use fast insert. No, we shouldn't. Never mind. We could do... No, we don't need Dirolite into both. Could do something like this. And then output stone to here. And here, since we need two full builds of cross stone. There's no real reason to input from both of these, but... I think I like that more than inputting from one, and then halfway down we start inputting from the other. This will just look nicer, and that's the best argument I have. Oh, we just can't reach here. That would have been awesome. But I guess we do this then. This could work. Should we move the stone anywhere else than out here? I don't think so. We might just move this loop to... Grab a little something like that. And these go far, so the next one should go close, I guess. These are set up correctly, yes. These are set up correctly. These are not set up correctly. I guess this could go in here as well, actually. Let's do that. And then these should go in here as well. And we wanted these to go close. 
Yes. So we have two that go far, two that go close. And we have equal amounts of these, so it shouldn't be a problem. We need our atlas in here. That's no problem. We also need to actually transfer this to the uh, sorting facility. Something like that. And that. Same over there. I think that's pretty good. We could squeeze this two tiles more together if we wanted to go under these. But then we would have to have a space in between each of these to actually fit an underground belt in here. Which we don't want to do. So I'm okay with this. And again, if we are going to uh, you know, make it the size of two of these, uh, or we have the space for two of these anyway, then this is fine. Good. Wait, I haven't even handled the ore output of these, but I guess that goes here. And we will have four red belts of those. Again, this is way overdone, well, over engineered, because we won't be actually producing 60 of each of these out of two setups without all of the beacons and stuff. But I am still, I still like to do it, so I'm going to. How much are we outputting? Four every second with a crafting speed of one. So how are we going to balance these two belts on each side? Again, we could fill up the first one first. And since that would be symmetrical, I guess that would be okay. So we go eight machines down and then we start filling up the next belt. I'm not sure if it actually works to Put down four of these. Will they get equal amounts of output? That's not right. Something like that. Will they all output equal amounts of over time, or will some of them be preferred? I do not know. I mean, yes, if some of them were faster than others, then or had lower uh, angles, they would be faster and probably be preferred, but I don't think so with this stuff. I'm just gonna fill up one belt at a time, and I'm gonna use two inserters, and I'm gonna expect that to be okay. I just again want to see how this affects when we rotate this. It is correct. Good. So that is what we are going to do, and then halfway down we will add the extra belt. Good. And I think that's everything for the <laughs> for the ore sorting. Then we need to process it. Then we need to smelt it, and so on. Is that thirty machines? It's thirty-two. That's fine. And after eight here, 
we need to either move these out one tile onto another build or put this like this. I guess that's fine. Here, right? Yes. Now this might be messed up. No, it's bottom. It should be fine. Yes. Is none of this powered? Good. Can we make do with only half of these by any chance? No, that won't reach. And we couldn't reach from in the middle here. I don't think. No. Okay, so this is fine still. I think that should be good. We need to handle those two belts of crushed stone though. So we liquefy it, and then we, oh well, yeah, liquefy, I think, from in here somewhere. Well, in a liquefier at least. Liquefy it into mineralized water, and then we clarify it. We could try and export some of this. If we wanted to. I'm not sure how useful that would be, but it's if we do that, we haven't prevented ourselves from doing it later. If we do a build where there's no space for it, then I guess it would be obviously harder to do. <laughs> More difficult. This is uh, the stone. So out here we have stone. We need to clarify some of it, even if not all of it. I haven't even looked at how many machines we would need for that. Can we matrix ourselves out of this? No. So we put this in a different thing. And say input 60. Oops. In just three of these. Okay. That's easy enough to handle. That is a full 60. Yes. Okay. We need 600 water though, so that's 10 of our oh, groundwater balls, which is a lot more than we used to. None of these belts need to go further after the stone has been put in here, right? No. So. Having some pipe. Shouldn't be a problem here. Yeah. We have the groundwater boss going in there. This will give us 12 groundwater boss. Which is more than enough. <clears throat> and we can take the stone and put in there. Something like that. And 
don't how many clarifiers would we need to get rid of that. It's 160 per, so four. The iron out here needs to go further, we need to remember that. Unless, if we have a lot of space anyway, we want to process it right away. It gives us less belts of output then. That could be okay. They must only need one belt out, but it would be further out anyway, so... I guess that's not really a problem. I'm just considering if we want to export the... Uh, mineralized water, we need to get it out somewhere. But we also need to remember that this... With this is, is going to be moving down like that. For some reason I keep thinking that our output will need to go the other way, but that is not how it is. It really needs to move down instead of up, which is fine. Can we fit two of these in if we do? Well, we can probably fit it in actually. Let's go with that assumption. Overflow valves. In here, I guess. Yes. Something like that. We still need to get this out, but we, it needs to get past all of our, all of our smelting, so... <clears throat> I'm holding off on that a little bit. Maybe all of this should move down one tile, just to let this go under. Yes. Or the... Uh, Processed iron at least. I'm pretty sure I want to do that next to this. This will need to get fuel in. So that is a reserved space. And... This will need to get fuel in. So we need to send ourselves a little bit. We had a four tile thing. Well, yeah, these up here, have two of two setups will always be even tiled. So we are a little bit off here, but that's okay. Let's put this here for now, just so we can mark this on the other side. We are not allowed to touch those. Five tiles over there, four here, okay. And... Well, we can go under with that, I guess. Sure thing. So, these are both producing two full Belts. So we have four both four belts here. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. They just need to go into those four belts, that's fine. It would be nice if they were put on the right belts, but we'll figure that out. The processing of this stuff, I think we will try to do here. Uh, that must be in here, I guess. No. Wrong in here. Yes. So these two belts have just gotten out of service. So has the inserters for them. Yes. Too bad we spent time on that. And we can directly put the 
iron ore in there. And then we have plenty of space to still get this down. And balance that. We should have a full build on this side and a full build on this side for a total of 60 processed iron. Good. That should be balanced. And it's powered as well. Great. These power or these coal things we could obviously also have the coal running across up here. Then we wouldn't have to worry about it. Then we are allowed to use that extra space, which we're doing anyway. But let's wait and see. It would be a lot less built or underground built, so we didn't have to do this for every two of these setups. We would need to get one built up and then run it across. Except that it is half a belt of charcoal just for this. So, but well, we can still feed four of these setups with that one belt then and then put another belt up. Because this would also have to be split into these, of course. But that's all fine, and for later. <coughs> We need to finish this part. We know this is what we want to do. Processed iron. And this is fine to just copy paste. And we can drag we can drag it. Oops. And mirror. Just so the inserter closeness and farness is set up mirrored instead of rotated so close down here yep. good and that is our output processed iron so that part is done everything powered yes everything is not powered down here but we can fix that i think Is this powered? Mm, no. So we need a power pole here anyway. And then my power pole here, I guess. Yes, that is the best I can do. Or that maybe for straight lines. Straight lines are always, always great. Something like that, at least. And if we just power that, let's just see that everything is powered. No blinking lights, good. So, a lot of processed iron. Wait, I didn't see what amount of charcoal we needed for this stuff. I saw it for this, the smelting. Okay, well, that's fine. We need one of these to two of these to four of these still. That is something we have done a lot of times. And it seems to be pretty simple. Until we find out that this requires a lot more space than everything else. Then it is not fine anymore. Those. Those. 120 of those, okay. Wait, 1 to 2 to 8? Two. 2 to 4 to 12? That's 1 to 2 to 6. My math is bad. This is 3 times this, yes. So 1 to 6. Good. I think I figured it out. I need more of these as well. Well, it's not since we're going to copy it, so. Let's see here. One of those. 
two, two of these, two, six of these. And we only have five there. I feel like I've done this so many times where I just did five. Or am I wrong about that? What have we done? Well, steel is a little bit different, of course. Iron. Yeah, did two to three. What? To eight, two to three to eight for some reason. Maybe because we just needed three of these and one and a half of these, and then we did something like that. I guess so. I mean, th there's nothing to worrying about this. If we wanted 30 here, we would need four to seven, but we don't get 30 out of this. We get 22.5, I think. So yeah, we would round this up to six and this up to four. So that's how we got these numbers and then 16 in here. Yes, okay. Never mind that. We will have to do it differently here. Slightly. It is just this, I guess. From processed iron. Iron. Iron plate. Good. That's not going to be very wide. And our process store comes in here, then we need fuel here. Or something, I guess, this belt. We might as well use the same belts. Well, let's go back to our 120 here. That wasn't 120, it was 180. Yes. And yeah, those did update, good. So we need 20 of these, so 10 on each side. That is a lot. I think we can do better than this. That's just five. I don't want this. Can we instead do... two of these, or four of these in a row or something. I mean, this doesn't fit, no. I don't like this. These could of course move in as the only ones. So if we just remove one fifth of these, no one sixth, put those in the middle instead. Okay, just undo all of this. They still give us plenty space, I feel like. We do need six red belts of output here, which is a lot, of course.
that's ten blasting furnaces, right? No, that's only eight. Ten. That's still a lot longer than I wanted it to be. But maybe I should just accept that. I don't think there's a miracle cure to that other than moving more of these into the middle instead. And making this all wider instead. Because we can fit six into the same width as this. But would we have the space for this? And we can, well, we can go under these with the fuel if we want to. If we even want to bring the fuel up like that. So we're not really blocking anything. But we would be overlapping in the middle with this. Except that we have an extra tile on this side. But then how are we going to get six belts out of this? Even if we upgrade it to purple belts, it would still be three belts. Same with green belts. Blue belts would be four belts, which I guess is an okay compromise. Since we could just have... Yes, four belts in like this. That could work. Wait, how would we get our things in here? Our liquid stuff, molten stuff. Well, I think I'm okay with this mostly. If we use one tile too much here. I think I rotated something here instead of mirroring. And that doesn't work very well. But we have to do something like that. And then move this down one tile, yes. Okay. Why is this here? That's not needed. No. Good. So we are now using one extra tile. So since this is an uneven amount of tiles, we could just add a tile between these. Then this goes out here instead. Then this moves over one tile, since I moved in that direction for whatever reason. Something like that. Then everything lines up here, nicely in the middle. And we are within these confines. So everything... Oops. And still be put down next to each other. Mm -hmm. Yes. I like that. I know we have wasted space up here now, but the alternative I think would be worse. Okay. These are also all wrong. Hopefully we haven't forgotten anything and these can be... Yeah, we even have space for the pipes in between, that's awesome.
I guess the pipes are really supposed to be at the bottom. And I would like to cut this pipe here so these only get fed by these. But then that wouldn't work on this side. No. Not really. So let's just let them all share one big network. Probably want these to be as long as possible, right? And we have this coming the other way. I quite like the look of this, to be honest. It needs to be bigger still, but we'll fix that. Can we just take this and rotate? Our autosave's always getting in the way. Did I not mirror that correctly? Just been mirrored, right? Why doesn't it look correct then? I haven't. I, this wasn't the one I took for some reason. Mirror. Where are the empty spaces? Oh, I'm just blind. They are there as they should be on the bottom side here. I don't understand anything here. Can we just get rid of this? Just this part. Okay. Mirror. Rotate. Everything is as it should be. I don't know why I'm confused. Of course, we need power for all of this. We need insert us for all of it. Let's do that before we go too far. So a lot of fuel. This fuel will be coming in like this. If it continues up, I'm still not sure. We will also take our processed ore from here. We probably need a lot of throughput though. And a lot of throughput we would get if we made smaller angles. And then we probably need some power for that. Mirror. There. A. Output, output. Output, output. Output, output. And then every two. Well, they would be paired up a little bit like this, I guess. Then what about the output of these? They don't fit into this very well. Oh, this could just go underground. I know I wanted to switch to titanium underground but I feel like there's usually not any reason to yes I know there was an input there it still gets stuff in don't tell me what to do Got it and let's just delete this 
for now. So we can fit this correctly. So this would cut just go here, right? Which means these inserters for here would be a little bit off, but it's either that or we actually do this just for the looks. Or not even looks but feels, because I would feel that we did everything in the same way everywhere. Except where we don't with the belt, but oh well. Let's get these set up. And they need to balance somehow. So what does a full pairing of all these look like? Down to here, I guess. So basically this, but rotate it in down for here. Yeah, that sounds about right. We just need this here, but we need them all to be set up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, onto one belt. That should be possible to balance just fine. Okay. Mirror. To there. Good. They go in the middle, they go on the outsides, middle, outsides, middle, outsides. Yes. So that is what we would want to copy. And so far we have four of these, we need five times that. Two, three, four, five. It's still a quite big setup, but it's a lot less than it would have been if we had done it like we did the first time. This all needs to be duplicated over here. And we need power for everything. I didn't think that far yet, apparently. So if we take this, can we actually just drag this across, or would we mess up stuff? No, they're not allowed to be placed there, nor there, but here they are, which is what we want, okay. Power poles everywhere, good. If we just connect, no, yes. Yeah. Whatever. It is powered. Good. And all the recipes are set correctly. These are set, it seems. These are set in the middle. These are set. Yes. Great. I have no idea if we can handle the throughput on the inserters here, but we'll find out, I guess. This is supposed to stop here. We still want to consider getting this stuff out, and we have plenty of space out here for underground pipes.
So we can do that. We can even fit this in here. Go out here. I also want to export the sulfuric wastewater though. But I guess that could go on the inside out here. So under this stick there. That should be fine as well, I think. I'm pretty happy about this so far. A lot more than I thought I would be, actually. This looks just so nice and dense. There's no beacons involved. Okay, it's not very future-proof or optimized in that way, I guess. This isn't going to... Well, maybe it will go here, but it will be as underground belt, so... so I will just remove it for now. This all is as close as we can get, I guess. Let's remove this out a bit. Move this out to there. No, we're not allowed to move that down anyway, so... It won't let me undo the moving of these. I guess that's okay. This is pretty dang close anyway. So I'm okay with it. I have more space here than I realize. I want them just to go as close to the furnaces as possible. We need another bell, another pipe then for sulfuric wastewater. That should be fine. And we'll figure out what to do with it down here afterwards, or after placing it, I guess. Mirror. Potato, potato, yes. Pipe, pipe. And we only had, what was it, 600 of this stuff per second, so the pipes can easily handle that. This needs to go up, and I guess this is an okay place to use titanium. But honestly, it's not really necessary. I would rather not have to bring extra different things to an expansion outpost thing. Good. All of this can move closer together. I guess we should put our updated design on top of this instead of the one we're not using. It's just a bit difficult to see what I'm doing. Well, maybe we should decide first, do we want to have fuel running between these two setups? I think so, yes. So I'm just going to leave a little bit of space. And I need to apparently explore all of this area up here. Oh, it's because of water, I guess. Okay. And we need a space between these. One tile between these. And is that centered correctly? Yes, it is. Awesome. Uh, this 
This won't work. I thought... Okay, so I've been designing everything to be more narrow than it needs to be. Because I also didn't consider this over here, no. So it's wider back here, I hadn't thought about that. Or I guess I forgot. Or something like that. Let's clean up a little bit here. This will stay for now. Just because I kind of like it, might want it later, I don't know. This we have already made better. I will just power this low for now, so we don't have to look at that. So we need all of this to be two tiles wider, I guess. Let's just cut it all. And place it again. How close can I get here? So before I wanted the uh, outer underground belts to just overlap with the crushers in the middle. Now I want them on the outside of that. So if we just go up from here. This should be okay. I still want that tile in the middle. Eh, that's so difficult to see. If this looks right. Yep, good. And it works all the way up. Yes. Good. I think that is everything here for now then. Except we need to connect these pipes. Oh, that doesn't need to be titanium pipe especially because we're going to move it closer together could these all move up one tile by any chance nope so we will just make it up ugly because i don't want to do one titanium underground pipe where we have all of these normal thingies Don't pipe it in the way. Oh, this one. Mirror. There. Good. I think that's as dense as I can make this. And I do like it quite a bit. It looks so pretty. Well, some of this pipe stuff is not that pretty, but... At least these parts are awesome. And this looks pretty good as well. This is sort of a mess, since it's not symmetrical. But there's not really anything we can do about that, I don't think. Did we make any adjustments to this? Also, could we do with half of these we could but i'm not going to we have these we did make these adjustments and that was of course in the blueprint so that's good i think everything is fine then oh we already have titanium underground pipe here so it wouldn't be a problem to use it here as well. But I'm not going to right now. I am instead going to try and move these closer together. No, I'm not, because I wanted some space for fuel belts here. 
probably not won't need more than one belt. It is just going into our filters. But I guess we should... Oh wait, we also need to connect these, of course, the outputs. Do we want all of this stuff in one blueprint? Or do we want it in two? I think I want it in two just because it's easier to manage that way and see what we have and stuff. And that isn't very easy anyway, but I'm going to do this now. And for iron, we can just copy paste the whole thing when we have set it up once, but it might be easier to use it for copper afterwards, separated like this, or maybe not. Maybe I'm just rambling. We could just connect it and see it run though before we build everything and figure out we have problems. You, you. So give me a underground thingy. Give me charcoal. Uh, which is in here. Dang it. And connect the power again. And we'll fix these outputs in a little bit. We need some filters. And we're still sticking with just a hundred in each. We need some. Uh, what's it called? Sulfur. To get that to run, we need some water to get this to run. I will just do infinity water right now. We already took the blueprints, right? Yes. So we can put whatever we want in here. Oops. Give me... So we get slag. Slag is liquefied. Get slurry stuff. We haven't set recipes here. Ooh. That isn't the worst thing. This is much worse in my opinion. Why have that changed? Okay, no, one of them need to be Jivolite. And we need that out. I should just empty this out of Sephirite first, though. And that's done. Good.
we're reserving just two belts for Yakoli, I think. So we have more belts for this stuff. Let's just move this one up one tile to make it match with everything else. Not balanced here. Let me see this stuff on one side. Same over here. So something is wrong with that blueprint apparently. Wait, we have done this here. Is this messed up as well then? Yes. Okay. Let's fix that first, shall we? Oh, I can't do a... I can't do the full thing without making water, I guess. Eh. So... Give me some water, please. Brush size two. Oh. Yo, something like that. None. Go again, please. Now we have the whole, the whole thing. Now we just need to make sure that this is balanced. This goes in the middle, which it shouldn't. This goes short. So maybe we did this design on a horizontal layout, not a vertical layout or something. I guess we did. And it's the same thing over here, but it works because middle means lift when going vertical. How about everything else here with... We are not worrying about close and far here because we don't need that many filters, I don't think. But how about this stuff? Close, far, okay. I think that's all the adjustments we need to make to this. Then the reason of the thingies, the recipes are reset. I can't find the words right now. Are these set up? Well, they're not set up here, so that makes sense. Okay, so we want. Sephirite in the middle here. And Jivolite out here. We will just put that in there. And try to put that in there. How to make this look. This was not where that should be. Go, this should have gone in here, which is a problem. So you will go down there. And in there, we will just get rid of this stuff, I think. Okay, good. That's not a lot of all right now, but fluid shortage. Is it because of filters or something? It's way earlier than that. Shortage of this. 
she wants to check that. So we have been building up this, I guess. As soon as that starts actually being backed up, then this gets more on this. And hopefully we will be making more stuff. If everything is, is as it should be. Good. We need to get Sephirite in as well. I'm just going to change my mind here and put this here instead. So this can go... That doesn't really help, does it? This doesn't help either. Could do something like that instead. Okay, I will accept that this just won't be that beautiful. As long as it's functional. Have we not balanced this build yet? Yes, we have. Okay. We have started getting stuff in, that's good. Have we started? No, we have not put... Oh dear. We still need catalysts in here. Which I forgot about. We can fit those in under all this load though. Unless we want them between here. They do go in here. Not into this. But it's not that far to bring them up here. It would again just be less belt if we brought it up once and then... Well, then we would need to bring it over as well. So no, we are going to bring it up. Can we just take this? Remove those, those, I guess all of that as well. Just have the underground belts. Best underground belt in the way. What? Oh. Well, I should have kept the belt, dang it. And this needs to go into there, so we need this moved. And that only wants to be right there. Dang it. Can we connect something in here instead, please? I said I want a straight lines, but I'm obviously not going to get it here. So I will just accept that. And these need to be reversed. Can we just reuse this for that? No, because that's not long enough, or it's too long or something. <laughs> okay. Mirror. Rotate. Yes, that's what I'm trying to reverse, dang it. And forcing that doesn't change anything. Dang. Guess it would have been faster to remove this side and then mirror everything on the other side for a complete setup or something. We also need this here. 
And again, I forgot about the bell. Okay. And we will grab a new blueprint of this, I guess. Put in there instead of that. Good. And if we then actually input some catalysts. Hopefully we should be a lot better. Why do we have... Dang it, the stone output needs to be filter inserters. So we need to fix that. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.